Welcome to the 44th Annual Mario Kart Championship. I'm here today with Gladys as we watch the face-off between the racers. And I'm here with Kendra. The games are about to begin, and Ian's first law, the law of inertia, shows Yoshi at a whopping 0 meters per second, ready to start off with a bang. The gravitational force is keeping him from drifting off and being disqualified from the race. Frictional force is also being applied from the tree trunk, preventing Yoshi from sliding off the tree. As the racers are off, Yoshi moves at an average speed of 2 meters per second in 3 seconds, then accelerates to 5 meters per second, putting him in 6th place. His total acceleration was 1, one meter per second squared. Switching the view to Baby Daisy on Koopa Cape Road, we see her moving at a constant speed of 3 meters per second, and then accelerating to an unimaginable speed of 7 meters per second. Wow, what a sight that was! We return to Yoshi just as he is heading straight for the giant caterpillars, endangering his life for all to see. Traveling at 25 meters in 5 seconds, his average speed is 5 meters per second. Newton's third law, the law of motion, shows Baby Daisy is already on her second lap making her way through the water tunnel, with a frictional force from the water attempting to push her the opposite way. Struggling, she continues the race, having an applied force going in the correct direction, able to help her get out of the water tunnel. Now as we make our way back to Yoshi, we can tell that the bridge he is currently racing on has a high coefficient of friction because of the traction and frictional force of the wood, making it hard for him to roll on over the bridge. But oh uh oh! He makes it over using the powerful, his powerful applied force and the force coming from the cart. Wow! And with a quick lens of Baby Daisy, the way she uses the rainbow boost to accelerate herself and the cart is just an eye-catching scene. Newton's second law, the law of motion, gives her the change of course that she needs to reach fourth place. Starting off at 7 meters per second in 5 seconds, the boost sends her to a force of 10 meters per second with a total acceleration of 0.6 meters per second squared. Yoshi, finally on his third lap, is trying to maintain his position in first place by going at a constant speed in motion while his applied force is helping him to do so. The gravitational force is preventing him from receiving any further injuries and losing the race once and for all. Almost under the race, Baby Daisy gains three inch shots that each has a mass of 10 grand. The combined mass of Baby Daisy and the card is part of the At this point, she's racing at 5 meters per second. But with the mass of the shells added, which now the total mass is 130 grams, she lets one go. While keeping two just for backup and is now racing at a rate of 3 meters per second, her total acceleration is 1.75 meters per second squared. And folks, as you can see, all of the hard work has paid off as both Yoshi and Baby Daisy finish in first place. No twists, turns, or obstacles held them back. Both finishing the race at 5 meters per second, Yoshi crosses the finish line going north and Baby Daisy going northeast. On each different course, cutting it close for each racer, the stamina and effort that was put forth was outstanding. In order to finish in time, there's some things that racers need to avoid from happening. Some factors that can affect their reaction time are bumping into one another, the objects hitting them from different directions, and of course, not falling off the track. But if for some reason they do happen, then it can damage the racer's position in the race and possibly have them at a disadvantage of even placing in the top three. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another year of racing, the 44th Annual Mario Kart Championship. Thank you for joining Kendra and I and for your participation. Thank you.